Good morning and welcome back to another episode. It's a very chilly day here in the UK. It's about three degrees, very, very cold. Um, and this morning I thought I would pay a visit to somewhere that I've been wanting to come to for years and years and years. And for whatever reason, it just seems to evade me. Uh, life just has a way of getting busy and throwing things um, into the diary and it's just continued to evade me. But today I am finally here. I have come to a really, really special place called Beaver Castle. Now its name is spelt B-E-L-V-O-I-R, so it should be Belvoir Castle. But in good old English fashion, nothing is pronounced as it's spelt. So it's actually pronounced Beaver. Now the castle dates back, the estates date back even, to uh, about a thousand years ago. The name came with those um, who invaded with the Norman conquest, hence the uh, French word Belvoir. So the castle sits in the Vale of Belvoir, or Vale of Beaver, and um, there has been a castle on this site for a good thousand years, although the one that we see today isn't the one that originally stood on these on these estates. Um, I think it's been rebuilt three or four times now. Um, but either way, it is a gorgeous place, a really fascinating long history, and I have come finally to see the Christmas decorations. So the theme this year is Cinderella, which I'm quite excited about. We haven't had a Cinderella display so far this year for any of the places I visited, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. Um, the house itself is owned by the 11th Duke and Duchess of Rutland. Um, this is their family home where they live with their five children and their dogs, and um, that's, this is still a family home. Um, but it's also open to the public to come and visit, thankfully. Um, I do like that these properties are available to come and see and enjoy. Um, the family here um, have ties to my favourite house in the entire world, Haddon Hall, which I haven't shown you guys yet, but I will do. Um, it's absolutely incredible. It's like a time warp. You step through the doors and it's like being back in the 15, 1600s. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's incredible. I'll show you that. Um, I'll show you that soon. Um, but the older brother lives here in their house, the wonderful uh, Beaver Castle, and the younger brother, um, Lord Edward Manners and his wife, they live in Haddon Hall. But I'll go into more of the history of that um, when I visit. It was just an amazing house. I can't wait to show you that one. But today I am here at Beaver, so let's go and take a little peek inside and see their Christmas display. I remember reading um, recently that Beaver Castle is one of the top 15 mispronounced place names here in England. Um, and it doesn't surprise me, we have some weird pronunciations for things. There's a few villages and just places that just make no sense. Like in Oxford, you'd think it's Magdalen College, but it's not. It's pronounced Maudlin or um, Bicester, B-I-C-E-S-T-E-R. It's not, it's not pronounced Bicester or Bicester, it's pronounced Bista. Um, a local one to us is Southwell, but it's not pronounced Southwell, it's pronounced Sol. Um, or Leominster, it's not pronounced Leominster, it's Lempster. Um, yeah, we have some really, really funny ones. And there it is, the gorgeous Beaver Castle. Belvoir in French means beautiful view. And that is why it got its name, because it looks over the beautiful, beautiful Vale of Beaver.
just come out. Oh my God. Um, yeah, that blew me away. Absolutely blew me away. Better than anything that I was expecting. I don't know what you guys thought, but just seeing inside the house itself, just the architecture was outstanding. The uh, Christmas display itself was incredible. Oh yeah, gonna be another hard one to top. Well, I have got to go, so I will say goodbye and I will see you tomorrow. Lots of love.